What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're out here today. We're going to weigh my deer. This is a John Deere Z960M zero turn mower. Um, I've got it hooked up to my tractor here with a 20,000 pound load cell. Uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, if I think about it from Amazon. That's where I got this at. Uh, it comes in very handy. I've used it for a lot of different things. And uh, they do make smaller ones. You can use them for weighing, uh, you know, deer to whatever machines like I'm doing, scrap iron, whatever you can dream up. As long as you've got a way to hang it, uh, doesn't have to be a tractor. You can hang it from a chain horse or any of that stuff from a tree limb or whatever you want to weigh. As long as you can get it attached uh, securely, um, it'll work. So I'm hoping that this uh, little choker strap that I got here is still in good enough condition to use for this. Um, this is a pretty old strap. I don't have another one, and I don't want to wrap a chain around here to scratch this up. So anyways, I got this rigged up, as you see. And uh, I've got the indicator sitting here on a scale uh, or on a stool. Uh, the scale indicator sitting on a stool. And uh, we're going to lift this thing up. I hope that the tractor will lift up high enough to get all four tires off the ground the way I got this rigged. I have not tried it yet. Um, but that's the best I can come up with right now. So we're going to see how this works. This will give some indication of the weight on this. Um, when I bought it, I thought that it weighed like 1,300 pounds. That's what the uh, John Deere website said and then there was a sticker on the mower that when i got it that said 1500 something pounds so i don't know what it weighs um it is not full of fuel that's something that somebody's going to whine about i'm sure we have a quarter tank of fuel so whatever weight we get you can probably add about 50 pounds to that i think this is a 10 11 gallon tank it's got a quarter tank you know you can probably add about seven gallons to that seven times fuel weighs about seven point something so just add 50 pounds to it, give you a rough idea. This does have the 60 inch deck here. And uh, so I'm gonna start the tractor up, set you guys up over here and we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna get us a reading. I was not expecting that to slide back. I was trying to keep my forks uh, pretty level, but they got a little bit tilted too far back and it slid back. But our strap, choker strap did not break, at least as of yet. We have it all the way off the ground. The thing is fairly well balanced. Um, I do have it positioned a little bit further to this side. The fuel tank's on this side, so if it was full of fuel, it would probably be just about balanced perfectly. But, uh, Fairly well balanced the way it sits there. We'll show you guys the number here. 1384 as she sits. So I don't know what the uh, 1500 pound tag was unless that was shipping weight if they had this thing strapped to a crate. Um, I could see that. But looks like the John Deere specs on the website is fairly well close because I'm sure that the specs, I want to say it's 1350 or something and that's probably with no fuel and um, i'm sure there's also a difference with this having twills versus one having air tires there's probably a little difference in that as well but 1384 with a quarter tank of fuel so if you add if you add 50 pounds for fuel um, it's gonna put you in the 1400 pound range so that should give you an idea uh, what one of these weighs if you're looking for you know a trailer to haul it on maybe you're looking for the capacity uh, a trailer with enough capacity to haul it or maybe you're just worried about uh, lawn compaction, that sort of thing, making ruts in your yard. Uh, so if you put an operator on that, plus another 50 pounds of fuel in it, you're gonna be 
16, 50, 1700 pounds, depending on how big the operator is. So uh, hopefully that will give you some kind of idea there. All right, guys. Well, now you know what it weighs. Uh, like I say, full of fuel, it's going to be over 1400 pounds, probably 14, 20, 30, somewhere in that range. Uh, so that should give you some kind of idea if you're trying to figure out what kind of trailer you need to be looking at capacity wise to haul it on or if you're worried about your lawn compaction you got to realize you put a guy on that weighs 200 250 pounds you know you're going to be 1650 pounds somewhere in there or if you're just wondering if you get stuck what it's going to take to get it out uh, like another commenter had pointed out uh, you're definitely not going to be pushing this out and you probably won't even push it out if you have a couple of friends come help so you're going to need uh, something to tie it on to uh, side by side or pickup truck or something like that if you get it stuck in order to get it out of the mud um, because it is quite heavy. So anyway, we'll wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.